Hi, uh, I'm Alan from AJ Synth. Uh, welcome to NAM 2017. Uh, hi to all at Analog Zone. Um, just like to uh, quickly go through some of the new products that uh, we brought along to, uh, to introduce at uh, NAM. So if we start. Our first, um, our first product is uh, is a very simple 2 HP panel, um, which that just brings out the um, the gain jumpers from the from the transistor ladder filter and the uh, discrete uh, VCA on our mini mod range. We've had quite a few requests for this so that it can be accessed from the front panel. So that's uh, that's simply what it does, along with um, a six uh, six input uh, passive uh, multi as well. So that's uh, module number one. The second module that we have is um, our V-scale uh, variable buffer. Now this is um, an active multi, um, but it's an active multi that's, uh, that uses precision components throughout, so it has a very, very high spec. Um, very high input impedance of uh, 10 mega ohms, uh, an extremely low output impedance of less than one ohm, and it has um, five outputs. But one of the interesting features with it is that output number one is uh, is fixed, so that that's just a standard um, that's just a standard uh, buffer. But the other four four outputs uh, can be varied up and down by five percent. So that allows us to change uh, tracking on oscillators and filters. So if we have um, if we're using the filter as a, as a VCO, let's say, and the tracking isn't great on it, uh, we can actually calibrate the tracking from the front panel. Um, also, a very very low uh, offset voltage on it as well, so that uh, quite often with buffers you can have a six or ten millivolt difference between the input and output, uh, which that that converts into uh, into pitch changes. Um, so none of that with this very very high um, high precision unit, um, and it's uh, available in two to three weeks. Um, so that's the that's the V scale. So moving on from there, we have uh, three new um, 10 HP modules. The first one is our uh, our dual LFO VCA. So this is two um, two LFOs, and LFO two um, is normal through uh, a VCA as well. So this is great for um, this is great for using with keyboards such as the the Waldorf KB37. Where you uh, where you have a, a modulation wheel that gives out zero to five volts, we can just patch that. You can patch that straight into the uh, the CV of the VCA, and from the uh, from the VCA, take the output of the VCA, and that uh, that allows you to control the modulation level from your uh, from your modulation wheel on your synth, or from any other um, from any other unipolar uh, source. Um, also with, uh, with the LFO we have uh, continually va variable wave shape on each of them so it goes through from uh, sawtooth uh, through to ramp with a triangle in the middle and um, LFO 1 also has a, a slow speed switch so we can take the speed down and it also has a sync uh, reset on that as well so that you can reset the rate um, you can reset the rate from the uh, from we'll say an ADSR or, or whatever, so that on a on a retrigger of the keyboard, it would reset the uh, would reset the the LFO. Um, so that's our dual uh, dual LFO. The next module is the uh, DH ADSR envelope, and um, we made this in response to uh, to requests from uh, from users who said that. We absolutely love the the punchy um, the, the punchy the punchiness of our um, of our dual contour, which obviously is the uh, is the original circuitry of the um, the vintage Model D. Um, but please, could they have it as full ADSR? So that's exactly what it is. Um, the circuit changes are, are absolutely minimal. Um, it just basically has a has a switch in there that switches at the end of the gate that switches to release. So we have full ADSR with all of the um, all of the advantages and all of the eccentricities of the original uh, Model D envelope. Uh, but we've added two two more things to that as well. Uh, we have a delay hold feature, and we also have a re-trigger. 
So this allows, when we switch the delay hold on, that, um, that allows us to set up a pre-delay, uh, which it, it'll hold off um, until that period. So that can be up to 10 seconds of hold off before, it, before the gate starts. And then the gate length is determined by the hold pot. So again, around 10 seconds. So with this module here, we also we have a re-trigger on it as well. So that takes us into, uh, we can do all of the stuff that you can do with um, things like the old uh, EMS uh, trapezoid envelope generator. So you can do some, some really interesting repeating uh, envelopes. But of course the repeating envelope can be full ADSR and not just a simple a AD or a AS envelope as well. So that's that one. And the last, um, the last of the new releases is the um, CV um, offset um, VCA. Now this is a this is a four-channel um, linear uh, mixer intended for, for mixing uh, CV voltages together. Um, but as well as that, we have things like on um, it's a voltage source as well, so that if, if there isn't any input to uh, to input one, then um, the, uh, the the pod there will uh, will add a bias of from minus six to uh, to plus six volts uh, to whatever's output. So that um, we can put something into input two and three, and it'll uh, and uh, by using this as an offset, we can actually add a bias voltage to that. So it's great for converting things like um, we can convert a, a, a bipolar modulation signal um, into a unipolar signal by putting, we'll say, a five volt uh, positive offset on that. Um, also, the, one of the other features is, is that on input four. Uh, we can change that so that instead of it being an input, that becomes an offset um, for the um, for the CV input. So again, if we have a, a CV controller voltage that we're using, um, that we'll say it's plus and minus five volts, and we want to take that up to uh, to zero to five volts, then we could just dial in. We'll just we'll just half the uh, we'll just half the gain. And then we'd add a uh, we'd add a, a plus five volt offset, and that'll change your bipolar uh, signal into a unipolar. Um, one of the one of the other things that it'll do, as well as that, quite a few people are using our um, our mini mod VCOs as uh, LFOs, and one of the problems is that it only has a it only has a, a ramp um, waveform. It doesn't have a sawtooth. You can put the the, the ramp into that, um, turn it so that we, we're negatively amplifying it and it'll, uh, it'll, invert, it'll invert it and give us a, give us a sawtooth instead of a ramp waveform. So there you have it, there the, the five new um, releases that, w that we have at NAMM, um, all available within the next two to three weeks and um, thanks ever so much.